Beautiful South Beach, Florida. I'm, there's, it's beautiful today. A little That's cool, right. You know, and I pity you guys that are up north. Now, we just saw a great little movie that uh -huh. I like. This is your entertainment ticket, by the way, and it's yeticket.com. Yep. We just saw a great little movie, and uh, it, it's by Terry Gilliam. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he's a great little director. Yeah, Monty Python. He did. All, that's where he acted. But he did all this directing in between. He's done some great well, little movies. Twelve Monkeys. Twelve Monkeys. He's done. He's done a lot. And the name of the movie is called The Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Oh. And you know what? I like this movie. What do you think? I love this movie. Uh, this movie was very good. It had the full imagination that uh, Terry Gilliam is, is known for. He also did uh, Life of Brian and other movies, too. But in this movie, it's Christopher Plummer. And also, this is uh, Heath. Tom Waits. Tom, Tom Waits and Christopher Plummer shared the screen on this. They sure did. But also, Heath Ledger, this is his last film that he did also. Mm -hmm. And also, and this is Johnny Depp and Colin Farrell and Jude Law. And Jude Law. Now, this film is about a traveling theater company they went around London and but it was a mysterious traveling movie uh, theater company and Dr. Parnassus he's an old guy he's been living for a long thousands long time of thousands of years but he made a deal with Mr. Nick Mr. Nick is the devil deal with the devil that's right like I said I love this film but Alan what do you think of this film um, I thought it was okay I thought it was entertaining I, I didn't think it has any big shakes um, I'm a real Heath Ledger fan, but I don't even think he was great in this film. He was okay. And uh, um, I actually liked the fact that uh, all these other people jumped into the role and tried to imitate Heath Ledger, and they did a pretty good job of it. Um, I think Christopher Plummer was extremely, extremely good in the role, and Tom Waits just blew me away yes. with, his, with his characterization. Um, I, I had some problems with the story, but, you know, I said it was long. I thought it was written long. Um, but it's going to be entertaining. The special effects are good, and good. Hey, the it's special effects are good. No, it's nothing different than I he has. In awe. He's done the same thing since Monty Python, and he's still doing the same stuff. And that's how I felt about the film. Mm -hmm. I, you know, how about you, John? What about you, Tom? What about you, Tom? You could really see Terry Gilliam in this film, like throughout, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the floating heads to heads coming off, and just playful things. You could really tell it was a Terry Gilliam film. But I do have to agree. Heath Ledger wasn't at his best. I mean, like, I know not a lot of people want to say that, but he really wasn't. When you see this, you're going to be like, I sort of miss him. But um, I, I thought it was an adequate movie. It wasn't anything amazing. It was good. Is it worth your dollar? I, I think that depends. Um, it's, it's a fantasy on the screen. It looks good. The art direction's amazing. I'll give you that in two seconds. But story-wise, it is lacking. It definitely is. Uh, I disagree with these two guys. I think the movie was really good. I think you're going to enjoy it very much. It's a great yeah. fantasy. The way they bring it out, yeah. the way they put you into the yeah. fantasy, the way they draw you in. And Heath Ledger was great in this film. Yeah. I thought he was amazing. I thought he did a super job. He was like, what happened? To, you know, you kept on saying to yourself, what happened to this guy? He's so great. I mean, you what what changed him? What changed him into to maybe this person who just didn't want to stay around? I don't know. Maybe that was his best performance and he wanted to give. I don't know you for his tell. last one. But I'll tell you, it was like, to me, I thought in, in the other characters who went into the... It, it's all about going into this special mirror. You go into the mirror and you go beyond it. Once you get in there you change so each person changed and so did Heath Ledger when he went in and therefore became these other characters with Colin Farrell played in in like that I I like the movie very much because it was about stealing souls and it, it was a very very good movie very well done very well staged and I think you're gonna like it a lot now, I don't think you're gonna like it I think you're gonna love it also who gave another great performance Von Troyo too yeah. he gave a great yeah. performance in this not only that Lily Clothes is Valentina she she gave a great performance in this, too. You know, and I really enjoyed this movie. It, it was full of imagination, full of color. I was in awe when they went through the mirror. I really was yeah, in awe. Terry Gilliam, he did a great job. Heath Ledger did a great job. Christopher Palmer did a great job. Tom Waits, 
a great job. And, you know, just what Tom said, I, it, it is a lot of Terry Gilliam when you get in there if you like Monty Python. Of course. But you know what? That was what it was all about. I thought he was on those stilts. I, I just nearly oh, lost it. Me too. That was just amazing. Me too. It was. It that. was amazing. Can I grab that from you real quick? Now, here's the problem with Heath Ledger's performance. Although it may be good, you could tell he couldn't get the Joker out of the performance. The whole oh, entire I time. Oh, oh, no, I never saw Are you joking? I whenever he, whenever he smiled, saw, whenever he was it. here like this, it was completely obvious as far as I could tell. Now, granted, what, it was a decent acting performance. Was it great? No. I don't know why you're giving him extra credit. Just because it's post-humorous doesn't mean it has to be great. I ain't doing it because it's... Uh because he's dead. I'm doing it because of the performance itself. Yeah, That's why I'm doing it. I'm based on the performance. I'm going with the character. I, the I, the I, I, my problem with Heath Ledger's performance is that he was just being Heath Ledger. I've seen that character in, in almost every film he's done. The thing with the, with the Joker was that he had excelled himself. He'd gone out of himself totally and created this really weird character and made him totally believable, and that's why we loved it. And, and I think my disappointment, again, my disappointment with him again, in this film... you're comparing film, him to the, to the, to I'm the I'm comparing him to him. I'm comparing performance to performance. And this was far from his best performance. But maybe the drugs and everything were already getting to him. I don't know. But I did not see the Heath Ledger that I wanted to see on the screen. I just saw a guy who was a good actor, a really good actor, making a performance that was good, but nothing exceptional. Now, I'm not taking anything away from him. He's a good actor. He was a great actor. He, his, his consummate performance was at the joke, as the Joker. It will always be as the Joker. This did not excel it. And, I, and my disappointment was a little, I was looking for a little bit more in the performance. But I'm not knocking the performance. He was extremely good. Everybody in this film was exceptional. Every performance was exceptional to this film. That's and, right. That's and, not what we're talking about. But he, is, he was not not extraordinary in this film. What oh, was see. what was a really good thing was the way they gave credit to him and they honored his memory, and I liked that very much. Um, but it's just an average film to me. I, so how many palm trees you give? I give it uh, three palm trees. Okay, three palm trees is average. I mean, you give it. Oh, I'm going to give it four palm trees. I think it's definitely worth four palm trees. You should go see this film. And you're probably going to go see it anyway just because you want to see the last performance of Heath Ledger. But, again, that wasn't what this movie was all about. Exactly. I think he was a good, he, he played the good character in the film. Exactly. I think he played his character the way it was, was directed to him. And I, I don't think he overplayed it. I think he did a very good job. I, I, you know, I respect their opinion, but you know, you have to, you have your own opinion. And you should go see it yourself. Again, four palm trees. How about you, Tom? Uh, it's an average film. Three palm trees. Three palm trees. It's an exceptional film. Five palm trees. Again, I'm a big Terry Gilliam fan, and I'm always in awe of his direction and his art direction and the colors and the scene what he puts you in. He puts you in that in this film. You're gonna sit there with your mouth open at a few films. I get this five palm trees. Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus is an exceptional, great film. I, I, I would give five palm trees to Tom Waits and to Christopher Plummer for their performances in this, but every time Tom Waits came on that screen, I was watching the screen. Well, go see the film. That's all I got to say, and that's what John has to say. But they also recommend you go see it for yourself, too. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Keep watching us every day. And the day after. Yeah, baby. Yeah.